Hi guys, my name is Jerry. Online I'm known as Jerry PH. Uh, in this mini video, what we're going to do is in response to somebody that's having a little bit of a problem with the drivers on getting his Roland uh, to connect with the computer. And so he's able to not use the um, editor. So in this video, we're going to show it on Windows 10 and Windows 11, the, the process and how to install. Enjoy. Okay, guys, so what have I done? I've prepared my, my system here by doing two things. One, it has all the latest Microsoft updates. That's one of the things I always like to do. Two, you can tell that this is a Windows 10 uh, computer. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go and prepare the two things that I need. Actually, it's only one thing that I really need. Uh, to, to run the editor, I only need Java. And let's take a look and see if I have Java installed. I believe that I installed it uh, a couple of days ago. That's the latest version. So if I come here, type Java. Uh, actually, here, it was installed this morning. Good, awesome stuff. Okay, so we have the latest version of Java installed. What are we missing? We're missing the editor file. So if I didn't know where to look, I would Google it, which would be Roland FR 8X drivers. Okay. And here I have all the, the Roland uh, support files that I need. What we're looking for is the editor, right? So if I come here, do, 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 do. there's the editor. I agree, I download. Let's open up this. So I'm just gonna show it in the folder. And there's the reason I wanted to show this for the folder. So I come over here. This one is a copy, so we can delete that. This is the old Java that I did a little while ago. And I'm done. This I can close. You cannot run the editor from here. You can't run an executable from within a zip file. It causes problems. So what do we do? I simply decompress it and pull it out. So this is the folder that holds the editor. Pull it out. It's now in a file that's not compressed. That's this one here. Double click. Ah, I see that the association is done. If the association was not made for jar files to be run by Java apps, I can right click, I can open with, make sure that it's set to Java trademark platform SE binary. If it's not there in the list, you have to go choose another app, click on more apps, and you can choose it from here or you can browse, okay? So that's what you would need to do. Find that and just run it. Associate it to Java. Once this is running, I'm just gonna move these a little bit out of the way here. I just double click. And of course it's not running. Why is it not running? Two reasons. Number one, it's not, the accordion is still not plugged in. Let's go through that process together. Okay, so here is my, my 8X. This is my, my plug, you can see. I'm going to take the plug, insert it. Does it do anything? Not yet, why? Because it's not turned on. So let's turn it on. What's the next thing that's going to happen? Wait for that little dink, dink, dink. It seems it's recognized something. I take a look here. Nothing there. Good. Let's refresh it. May take a little while, but we refresh. Oh, 
Oh, okay, hold on. It found it. Boom. Found it. Boom. And it's reading the lists. So this usually happens twice on the first time. And there we are. That's all it takes to get up here and be running. This is, again, as a reminder, in the Windows 10 environment. Okay, so here we are on the second system. This one is a Windows 11. So you can see that this works here. I'm gonna use basically the same process. One of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that I have Java installed. So let's take a look in my add and remove. I'm gonna take a look and search for Java. Java's not installed. Let's install it on this one here. So if I don't know where to go, java.com, let's go to do Google and do something like um, Java for Windows. And it has for Windows for 11. Cool. I'll take that since that's what we need. And here we go. Here's how to do it. It's Java downloads. Java 18 and 17 are available. Great. So we can go here and take a look at the kinds of systems that we have. We have these here. So we can do the actual downloads from here. Now, if I wanted to do it a little bit simpler, instead of looking all around for it, I can just type download Java Windows 11. So it should bring me right to the actual download section. Or I can say, okay, Java downloads here. Java downloads all operating systems. And this is for all versions of Windows. Cool. So I just click on that. And once that's installed, let's open it. We can show it in the folder or open it. It'll say, do you want to run this? Sure. This is just that little executable. And if I had previous versions of, of Java, I can remove. Always good to remove old versions before installing new ones. But we don't have any Java here, so there's no reason for this. Let's install. Right now, what it's doing, it's downloading the big file. What we found, downloaded previously was just the executable or the runtime. And it seems to want to start on my other monitor, so I'll just drag that over here. And you can see it's already started, the installation. So I'm doing all of this in real time. No magic, no cutting, not this part here at least anyway. If I do do that, I will let you know. So again, I've installed Java successfully. Cool. What's the next thing we need? The editor. Fantastic. Where do I get it? I don't know. Roland, fr-8x in my case. Editor. Or if we wanted to say drivers, same thing. So I want to get my support from the main page. And I have everything that I need right here. We're looking for the editor, which is right here. Okay. If you want it for the Mac, it's here. But for us, what we want. So I scroll down to near the, near the bottom, or then actually it's closer to the middle. I click and I download the file. Once it's finished, let's take a look at it from the folder. Come on. You can do this. I know you can. Whoops. Sorry. It actually downloaded on the other window, open up in the other window. Okay. I will restate it 
again. When you have a zipped file, you cannot do this and then expect this to run. Don't do that. That's a bad habit. When you want to run an application, put out of the compressed folder. So I want the, comp the complete folder, drag it out. Okay. So this is the compressed file. The, uh, this is the decompressed file. This is the one we want. Double click. You can tell that the association was properly made already. My jar files are associated with Java. There's a little Java cup. If it wasn't just the same like the last time, I can come over here, go under show more options for here, and then you can click on open with. Once you've done that, you need to be seeing Java TM platform SE binary just like the last time. If it's not there, you need to either choose it from here or browse for it. Okay. In our case, this has already properly associated. What do I do? Double click. What happens? It wants to open things up on my main monitor, which is on my left. Sorry about that. I'm going to close that. First time I run it, it asks me, do you want to agree or not? Sure, let's agree. What's it going to do? It's going to open up the application. Oh, surprise. I thought it would open it up on the other monitor, but it's running. So what we need to do, one, we need to make sure that the USB cable is plugged into our computer. Then we go all the way up to the other end. And then we're going to simply plug it in to the ADEX. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to now, here's my plug. Here's the ADEX. I'm going to plug it in. What's going to happen? Nothing. Cool. Let's turn it on. It's turning on. What's happening? Nothing. There's nothing here. Well done. Is this, does that mean it's not going to work? Hang on. Refresh. Sometimes you might need to do a couple of refreshes. Let's find out what happens here. Oh, hold on. There it is. Boom. Boom. And it's reading. It is absolutely no more difficult than that. Of course, the first time you load it, it reads everything up in terms of your UPGs and then your, your set that you're loaded into. Okay. And that's it. You are ready to start working on your programming. Hope you've enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.